Once upon a time, the king, strolling on a cold winter night, noticed an old man in thin rags begging for alms at the palace gate. The king was surprised to see that this old man was not shivering at the cold. Curious, he asked him, you're barely wearing anything, aren't you feeling cold? The old man smiled and replied, I am, but what can I do? God has given me enough strength to endure this cold and live through the winter time. I have been living like this for many years now. The king felt pity and said, don't worry, I will send you some clothes that will keep you warm this winter. So saying, he proceeded to his palace. Once inside the palace, he got busy and forgot all about the conversation with this old man. Next morning, the soldiers found a cold stricken body of this old man and beside him were these words. I have lived many winters wearing these thin rags, but the promise of warm clothes increased my expectations and ultimately took my life. Expectations are the root of all problems. In the story, the expectations were set based on the promise that the king gave to the old man. In real life, even though there is no such promise, we tend to set expectations from people and situations around us. For example, I am craving for a hot cup of coffee. If I expect it to magically appear in front of me, would it? Now, if I'm expecting that my husband will bring it for me, if he's willing to do it, then it's fine. But if he's not willing to do it, that is when I feel shocked, disappointed, and even resentful. It's your expectations that hurt you, not the world you live in. Whatever happens in the world is real. What you think should happen is unreal. So people are hurt by their expectations. You know, you're not disappointed by the world, you're disappointed by your projections. But is life possible without expectations? Maybe not. Having no expectation is also an expectation, isn't it? The larger issue though is that we tend to get attached to them. We create unrealistic demands and feel disappointed when they are not fulfilled. So how can you let go of this attachment? Here are the three things you can do. Number one, be aware of the expectations that you're setting from yourself and from others. Are these even realistic? Awareness is the first step of any change. It also helps you to understand and handle yourself better. So if you're repeatedly disappointed with people or situations around you, check what your expectations are from them. Number two, be curious to see what will happen if you let go of this expectation. Someone should respond in a certain way or things should happen in a certain way. Let go of this thought and notice how you feel about it. Number three, be intentional to change your mindset around expectation. I'm not asking you to fight with what comes natural to you. So if you're habitual in setting expectations from everyone, please go ahead and do it. However, when things don't happen the way you expected them to, then don't hang on to it. Learn from them so that you can control your own expectations the next time you're in a similar situation. So if you're facing disappointments repeatedly in your life, try this three-step process to manage your attachment to your expectations. Be aware of what they are. Be curious to see what will happen if you let go and be intentional in creating a mindset of detachment. What do you think of these three steps? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not done it already. Subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. Bye.